Three former employees of the North Carolina Department of Transportation are being remembered following their tragic deaths while on the job 48 years ago. CBS 17's Caitlin Richards caught up with the family members who tell us why the recognition means so much even decades later. It was a terrible day back in 1975. In 1975, Charlie Eatman, Charles Gray Lewis, and Mac Batchelor Jr. were riding together in an NCDOT dump truck when they collided with a tractor trailer in Nash County. And I am saddened by your losses. Families of the NCDOT workers gathered Tuesday at I-95 northbound rest area in Nash, 48 years after their deaths. But months before the ceremony, my grandson and I were going to Gatlinburg for vacation back the 1st of August, and we happened to stop in the Davie County rest area. I walked in, I saw the nice big plaque. However, the three men's names were nowhere to be found. NCDOT has memorials at rest areas across the state that display the names of workers that were killed while on the job. Kathy McGee Sledge is the granddaughter of one of those workers, so she contacted the department. And within 30 days, they had their names on their placard and in every rest area in this state. Charles Lewis is the son of Charles Gray Lewis. He says he was overwhelmed by Tuesday's ceremony. Today was really great. Um, I, you know, I wasn't expecting you know quite all this, but um, but it was really, really good. Family members tell me through this awful tragedy, they hope that it serves as a reminder to always slow down and use caution when seeing trucks just like these on the side of the roads. They got that dangerous job, um, especially nowadays. Traffic is just you know it's, it's bad. Families say Tuesday's ceremony for the three men has been a long time coming. In Nash County, Kaylin Richards, CBS 17 News.